Well, it's official. Abortion access will be on the ballot in Florida this fall. The state Supreme Court issued a ruling a few hours ago approving a ballot measure that, if passed, would guarantee Floridians the right to abortion before viability, which is about 24 weeks. However, as with all state rulings, it can't be that straightforward. The state Supreme Court also upheld Florida's 15-week limit on abortion today, which triggers a more restrictive six-week limit that will go into effect within 30 days. So in other words, Floridians will face a six-week abortion ban in their state until November, when voters will get to decide whether to enshrine protections for up to 24 weeks. Joining me now is Florida State Representative, Representative Ana Escamani. She worked with Planned Parenthood in Florida for a number of years before getting into politics. Uh, Representative, uh, thank you so much for joining us. I'm assuming you see today as a victory for advocates of reproductive rights. Uh, do, do you expect this ballot measure to pass in your state in November? How, how does it feel on the ground right now? Well, I, I, I have to tell you, the, the energy is incredible. People are motivated now that we know we have abortion on the ballot this November. But of course, the six-week abortion ban is going to be devastating. In 30 days, Florida will have a near-total abortion ban impacting our residents, but also women in the South who come to Florida for access to care. The closest option for us will likely be Virginia. And so we're going to have mm. to navigate the on-the-ground crisis for reproductive care, while also, of course, staying focused on victory in November. Wow, that, that, that's a, a powerful statement, uh, that the closest access will likely be Virginia. Uh, so then let's, let's broaden this out a little bit. Uh, because you have this big Senate race in your state with Rick Scott running for re-election, and then, of course, the presidential race uh, between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, how much does this decision change the political landscape ahead of November in terms of not just uh, the narratives, but that how voters uh, are going to look at these campaigns? Well, I think what's so unique about abortion access, Michael, is that regardless of political affiliation, we all know someone who's had an abortion. And I've seen so many Republican women in my own state, but of course across the country, stand up and say that their party has gone too far, that these bans are extreme, and they are supporting codification. They are supporting rejecting political interference into our personal lives. And so I, I, I can't speak to you know what this will mean for some of these top of ticket races. What I can say is that we need to secure 50 percent uh, on, on candidates, but 60 percent when it comes to ballot initiative. So in order to win, it needs to be a broad coalition of folks of every political identity and background. Well, that, that, and to that point, uh, the Biden campaign told NBC News this evening that it, it believes it has a, a shot to win Florida uh, and that abortion will be a key uh, factor in helping make inroads uh, in the state. Uh, so in that regard, is Florida winnable, um, uh, both at the Senate level as well as uh, the federal level with the presidency? As someone born and raised in Florida, I am proud to say that Florida is always worth fighting for. There and you we go. need old boots on the ground. <laughs> we need folks registered to vote and ready to ensure that we not only codify reproductive rights, but we uh, help ensure that we have elected officials that reflect those same values. You know, it's interesting because the group that was leading this effort uh, to get abortion on the ballot uh, this November collected well over uh, 910,000 validated signatures of registered voters in Florida. At least 150,000 of those signatures came from registered Republicans. And something, Representative, I've been saying for a while, which you as a Floridian, native Floridian, knows to be true, um, Republicans uh, also uh, are very much aligned with the effort to keep abortions um, as an access opportunity, a health care issue for a lot of Republican women. How does that change the, the political dynamic, do you think? Well, that is so well said. Again, when you need access to reproductive rights, when you walk into a clinic, nobody's asking for your party ID. And so I do think that regardless of whether you decide to become a parent, choose adoption, or end a pregnancy, that that decision is between you, your family, your doctor, your faith, and not politicians. And, and that belief transcends political lines. So I'm very, very hopeful that we'll see those 150,000 Republicans I signed on, we'll see that number grow and folks who support this ballot initiative come November.
All right, Florida Representative Anna Escamani, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. We'll be back, folks, right after a quick break. Stay with us.